What's up everyone, welcome to Akuma's Arsenal, and today we're reviewing the Seiko Flightmaster. This has been kindly lent to me once again by TGV. So thank you very, very much, TGV. One of TGV's... TGV made a video about it, right, called TGV's Favorite Beater Watch. And in, in the video he goes, he talks about, you know, his reasons why he likes it. I've got to agree with him on the point that this is an amazing watch for the money. It uh, runs just about $200, yet it has more features than a protectfully perpetual calendar. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, let's check it out. So yeah, here we go move the camera over a little bit so you can see better so here's the chronograph it's a smooth sweeping which is very 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 lovely the crown uh, all the crowns are protected by a, oh that's my that's my broken glasses right there I think I'll, I'll be getting some new ones pretty soon but uh, yeah crown crown guards right there on the sides these help increase the water resistance. The water resistance is 200 meters. As you can see, it has a tachymeter. So let's say, for example, you stop it right there, right? The tachymeter is at, it's on the very, very inside of the bezel. So if you look closely, let's see if I can point it out to you guys. On the inside of the bezel, do you see the, the markings on the, um, on the inner side of the, on the uh, inner side of the dial in between the hour markers? That's the uh, tachymeter. So it stopped right at the very bottom, so you can do, so what is that? Well, in between 100 and 160, so you can do about 115, 115, yeah. You can do about 115 of whatever you're timing in an hour. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Side of bezel, compass if you know how to, how to work it, very, very similar to an alpinist, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful dial. Look at that. Look at the colors. Look at the complications. Most of the stuff you probably will never use. On the very, very bottom, there is an alarm. And to use to, to switch that, you pull out the crown. You pull it out all the way. And you see this bottom part? If I can unscrew it, which I can, every time you click it, every time you click it, It changes the, um, pay attention to that very bottom dial. It changes the, uh, the alarm time. I still know how to get the alarm to work. Honestly, this watch has so many features that, uh, I've, I've been trying to learn about them and how to use them, but there's a lot of depth to this watch. A lot of depth to this watch. You know, it, my Ninong has a, has a Nighthawk. And uh, I was showing this to him, and Mighty Nung has his uh, all black Nighthawk with a with a green Zulu, right? This is on like a it's it's white dial, it's blue, it has, it's on a TGV NATO strap. It's uh, it's a bit more ostentatious this version, but I feel like this watch, especially the blue version, has like a really nice style to it. It's sort of it's it's really young, it's very vibrant. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Patriots. <laughs> It's, or the Texans. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, visually looking watch. TGV actually made sure he was. I was talking when he was. We were talking about it. Uh, he wanted me to point out the fact that on the second hand, I'll, I'll have a couple close-ups of the shots. Don't worry. Uh, on the second hands, they don't line up perfectly. And honestly, when I first got it, I didn't notice it at all. But when he said something, I, I started to pay attention to it, and it kind of bugs me. <laughs> it bugs me, definitely. Uh, this is the first time I've ever ran into issues with a Seiko, with like little things like not line, things not lining up, or you know, little little things. But I feel like if you're going to get this watch, there is a chance that it's not going to be perfect. So you might have to take this to uh, a, a watch uh, re repair and uh, get it aligned properly. Speaking of Seiko chronographs, here's mine. It's my Seiko SNDC81 next to the Flightmaster. 
both are uh, quartz Seiko movements. I think this is made in Japan, and I honestly don't know where this one was made, if it says on the back. It doesn't say if this one was made in Japan or not, but this one for sure was made in Japan. You know, these, this one runs you about $100, this one runs you about $200. The quartz uh, Seiko uh, chronographs, there's so many different options. You got solar powered uh, quartz chronographs, you have chronographs like mine that are just, you know, very simple, black dial, just a chronograph. You got ones like TGVs that are crazy insane with a bunch of different uh, complications. It's or f I, I wouldn't even use that word complications. I use the word I'd use the word features. You know, if you're looking for if this one doesn't work for you or this one doesn't work for you, there are a bunch of other quartz chronograph options from Seiko. So if you guys are interested, really take a look. Uh, what I did, I don't have to show how TGV came to the conclusion and found this launch. But what I did was for my SNDC, I opened up a bunch of like a hella pages of uh, Seiko watches under 40 millimeters. I actually measured that. It's actually I think 39 or 40, so not really accurate. However, yeah, open up a bunch of Seiko tabs on Amazon or on Long Island Watch or wherever you like to go buy your watches, and just look through hella pages of Seikos. Look at the. Uh, how large they are. Look at the features. Do you want one that's solar powered? Do you want one that has a tachymeter? Do you want this? Do you want that? And refine your options based. Refine the results based on um, what you what you want specifically. I wonder how TGB came to the conclusion and, and found the Flightmaster. There is a black dial version of this one. Uh, very very beautiful. Also, never have seen in a person. But based if it's anything close to the resembling to this, lovely. And it's a bit more of a understated design so I, I kind of appreciate that uh, this is a Seiko that I love it and it's super duper bright but it's not really my style personally uh, if it was black I could see my not even black maybe you know what it could be the strap let's let's change the strap maybe maybe it's the fact that it's so out there oh another thing I forgot to mention changing the strap on this is a pain in the ass these lugs these spring bars are so dang tight to the to the case that it's really really hard to put a NATO strap through there and the TGV uh, NATO strap I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to pick one up they're thick right so if you're if you if you have a thick strap it's gonna be hard putting it in there so what you're gonna need to do is lay the strap down and then put the spring bar through you can't uh, thread it through you're gonna have to put it in then push the spring bar into place so keep that in mind let's see what it looks like uh, let's see what it looks like with a different strap so uh, let me just switch I gotta just touch up the NATO but here it is on a gray NATO strap still looks good I thought maybe if I changed the strap it would tone it down a little bit and it really does but damn even 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 then this watch is very very out there i actually liked it on the tgv nano strap better yeah <laughs> uh actually while changing the strap i'm pretty sure the uh the lug width is 21 millimeters so keep that in mind guys uh this is a watch that has really really weird sized lugs uh i think it but however a 20 should just fit fine TGV, when he when he uh, when I unboxed it from the packaging, he had it on a on this blue. So if you could imagine that. Personally, I thought the blue was a little bit off, but I think it, yeah. Looking back at the uh, unboxing, I think it looked pretty good. I bet this would look really really good on a red NATO. Actually, yeah. Or maybe a, a white mixed with a blue and red. Like maybe one of those um, USA colored or UK colored or I guess Russia colored, you know, that red, white, and blue uh, color scheme. Um, so in conclusion, what are, my, what are my thoughts about this watch? I think it's amazing that you can get a watch this inexpensive with this many features. Uh, if you took the time to sit down and understand what, the, what every single little thing is, the tachymeter, the slide wheel bezel, how do you want to use the chronograph, um, you know, the alarm, and even the date, right? If you took the time to, to really understand how all the features worked, this watch could be an, a very, very useful tool to you. 
Um, you know, watches, what are watches there for? They're there to tell the time. This watch can definitely do that very accurately because it's, it's a quartz, a Japanese quartz. But it does more than that. Uh, you know, we, we, a lot of us like to rip on Apple Watches, but like, let's think about why the average consumer would like to get an Apple Watch. Besides the fact of all the marketing, let's just let's just strip all marketing aside and just look at what it does, right? The Apple Watch has a lot of functions. It has a limitless amount of functions because of the fact that you can just upload an app and boom, it has a new feature, right? Maybe not that easy because there are limitations with the hardware and all that stuff, right? But what are the disadvantages? Battery life, limited features, what you can do on your on the on the watch you can do on your phone all this stuff right and that can be said for this watch too however for someone like me who doesn't have a phone uh, I find myself using things on this watch a lot uh, the chronograph um, well I guess not this watch specifically but on my other one like the chronograph for example I time how long it takes me to get places it takes me about an hour and five minutes to get to when I'm taking the bus from this route on the way to my girlfriend's house if I wanted to, I could set an alarm and say, okay, when I, let's say I spend that at her house, and I I go, okay, I want to wake up at this time, I can set the alarm. Okay, I'm, I'm we're going out to eat, you know, what's the tip? Let me calculate the tip really quick. You know, there are so many different things that you can use this watch for, and those are the things that really, really make this watch great. Uh, aesthetically, it's very, very beautiful, very, very gorgeous, very, very stunning. I love the blue, I love the red, I love the panda looking dial. Um, as TGV has said many, many times, it's a very, very complicated watch. It's very, very busy. You know, I, I was talking with my little sister, she said, dang, that's a busy watch. And it definitely, definitely is. Um, some of the disadvantages, there's not very many, but there's a few. Uh, quality control issues with Seiko. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this is the only one that TGV... I, I'm not, I, I'm not going to go that far, I don't even know, TGP's handled hella Seikos, I'm not even going <laughs> to But yeah, out of all of the Seikos that I've handled, which is a good, maybe eight, including family members' watches, uh, this is the only one that I have ever had that has had issues uh, with things lining up. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind, there are quality control issues. Um, some other disadvantages might be uh, just how complicated it is if you're not willing to put in the time to uh, you know, learn all the different things of this watch. I, I think you're better uh, off suited for a watch like the SNDC81. That's just a chronograph, not very many complicated options and half of the price. Um, but either way, $200, get yourself uh, a Seiko Flightmaster SNA43. These are really, really beautiful, very, very practical, and uh, I would definitely recommend it to uh, my brother's cousin. <laughs> which it would be my cousin too, but I'd recommend it to any of my friends who are looking for something, like a, looking for a nice quality quartz watch. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Um, I'm really, really curious to hear what you guys think about it. I'm, it's kind of a kind of more of a low-key watch, I think, but uh, it's a really, really dope piece, and let me know what you think about it. Also, please uh, give your recommendations for other uh, Seiko chronographs, uh, quartz chronographs, for all the other people who are looking for Seiko Flightmasters, or not Seiko, looking for Seiko Flightmasters and other Seiko Quartz chronographs. Also, in the link below, uh, if you click it, it'll it'll show you an eBay link that where you can buy the watch, you can you know look for other variants of Seikos and all that. If you do buy from that link, it helps out the channel. And this is the very end of the video, so thank you very, very, very much for watching, and Akuma out. Oh, by the way, thanks TGV for letting me watch, and Akuma out.